Welcome back to Project 94 for another diecast review here on the channel. And today, we're gonna be looking at Kevin Harvick and his 2023 Mobile One Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. This is gonna be another iteration of the Mobile One Kevin Harvick paint scheme, the 2023 edition, which is gonna be an all white paint scheme with the Mobile One logos on the car. As you guys can see, the Mobile One, and the little Pegasus on the side. But other than that, there's really not that much going on with this paint scheme. It's pretty much an all white version of the Mobile One car. Last year I had a bit of black and silver on the paint scheme. And in years past, it had a bit more red, white, and blue on it. But this year it's a pretty simple white Mobile One paint scheme right here. So this die cast review should go by fairly quickly. Um, as it is a very simple die cast, the most simple die cast I have reviewed in quite some time. So without further ado, let's get this die cast out of the box. But before we do that, let's get a couple close up shots of the packaging. Right here, this is what you're going to get for 2023. So let's get this die cast out of the box and ready to be reviewed. So here's the die cast out of the box right here, the mobile one. Uh, Kevin Harvick car for 2023. This car ran at Kota this year. And as you guys can see, a fairly simple die cast. As bland white as bland white gets, there's just the Mobile One logos on it. As to give you guys a first 360 view of it, here it is. Brand new for 2023, produced by Lionel Racing. So without further ado, let's get this die cast review on and let's zoom in to the details, or lack thereof, on this paint scheme. So you got number four right here, you got Stuart Haas Racing, you got Ford, you got the Ford Mustang in the front, not too bad with the decal placement. You have Mobile One with the ugly hood vents. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of these hood vents on these next-gen cars, but that's just me, getting used to them still. You got Mobile One, Ford, you have the blue Ford banner on there, you got Kevin Harvick. You have Sunoco, Goodyear, you have NASCAR Cup Series, you got the 75th anniversary logo for NASCAR. Number four, you have the little Pegasus for Mobile One right there. You got Kevin Harvick, Forever, matching the red, white, and blue, which is pretty awesome. You have Ford, Mobile One, Haas, Hunt Brothers Pizza, and Rush Truck Centers. You have Mobile One, Gear Wrench, Hunt Brothers Pizza, Pristine Auction, and Sunny D. Blue Goodyears on the fenders, but the wheels have the yellow Goodyears with the dark gray rims. On the back, you have Mobile One, then another Mobile One logo. You got the number four, a paint chip on the taillight, and of course, the 2023 Ford license plate right there on the back. Then you have Mobile One on the deck lid. You have Harvick, oh, and Mobile One right there. So now it's time for the paint scheme itself. So it's pretty much an all-white, spray-painted in white die cast. You have the red outline, the white outline, and the dark blue number fill-in. And that's going to be the style for the number four on all the sides of this car because it's all white. So it should be seen pretty easily. And of course, going to be in the normal uh, Stuart Haas Racing font. Nothing too special there. And well, that's pretty much it. <laughs> there is pretty much nothing I could say about it. It's pretty much all white. Of course, you got the black spoiler, the white roof rails, and the black splitter. But the rest of it is all white and the side markers are black. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the review right there. Just the Mobile One logos on a white car. So yeah, very, very little to look at on this car. Of course, you got the Biofuel logo right there. And I got to say the standout feature on this diecast is the Pegasus on the door. As you get to zoom in on that. Pretty cool, kind of reminds me of the early Jeremy Mayfield cars, the old Penske number 12 paint schemes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna do the 360 view and this review should be done pretty soon. So here's the front of this car. Here's the hood. Here's the right side. Not much to really get close-ups of. It's just an all white car. Here's the back. Here's the deck lid. Here's the roof and the top profile of this die cast. Here's the left side of this car, which is the same as the right side, which we just looked at. Of course, the biofuel logo right there. And the underbody of this car. And yeah, just the same um, 
uh, colors for the Mobile One logo throughout the whole car. The blue, red, and black against the white backdrop. And that's pretty much it. So there it is, guys. That has been the Kevin Harvick 2023 Mobile One Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. And when I first saw this car in the Stuart Haas Racing shop, I was like, wow, they're actually going to race this as the paint scheme? It's so bland. It's just a white car with the Mobile One logos on it. It's like, why couldn't they have just kept last year's car? And eventually they did bring back last year's car in the playoffs for one of the different Mobile One cars because they must have realized that this car is just so plain Jane, guys. Like, there's nothing else I could say about it other than it has the Mobile One logos against the white backdrop. So that's your paint scheme, Kevin Harvick fans, for the Mobile One 2023. And I've heard some people say that this is a tribute to the uh, 29 car, just like the other car was. But even then, that car had striping to it. This car has nothing on it. It is so simple and bland. So, if you want to get this diecast, if you're a Kevin Harvick fan, go ahead and get it. But I'm not sure if I recommend this one as much as the other Harvick diecast for the simple fact that there's not that much going on. But if you like just um, simple, bland paint schemes... This is the car for you, I guess. So that's going to be it for Kevin Harvick and his 2023 Mobile One Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing. So there you go. Six-minute video, and that's it. So thank you all for checking out this Diecast review. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next Diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecast.